good word to remember. Let no one tell you that you can't. And by all means, don't tell yourself that. Letting the dogs out. Allowing your expectations to chase your passions. Developing the courage to fulfill your dreams. All of us need to, at some point in our lives, ask ourselves, get still, get silent, and ask ourselves on the inside, what constitutes letting the dogs out? What represents me releasing? What represents me opening up? What represents me finding my own calm so that they can percolate to the top of the surface. That is what the symbolism is in letting the dogs out. What do I need to do to sit back and just let them come out of the corral? Let them move at full speed towards whatever it is they are aggressively approaching. How do I let my expectations blast out and chase my passions? What is it that I expect? Do my expectations match my desires? Am I perpetrating with my expectations even though I'm making a proclamation for my desires? That combination begins to tell us if we're going to open the gate and we're going to curl back up and go, hmm, 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 and go sit in the corner, or are we really going to blast out of there moving full tilt, unbridled, uninhibited, uncontrolled, uh, laser focus directed towards it so that time, space, energy, people, circumstance, and conditions will not stop me towards moving towards that desire, that purpose, that expectation, and that goal. That is our power, that is our capacity, and that is our ability when we release as El Denise has said, all inhibitions to moving out, moving towards it, and really seeing how fast, how sharp, and how aggressively we can move towards the front. Over to you, Kevin. I'd like to thank you today to becoming a part of our morning inspirational message. We'd like you to really evaluate, are you letting the dogs out? Do you release? Do you develop and have you mature to the level where you will allow your expectations to chase your dreams unbridled, uninhibited, unconstrained, unrestrained? Are we belting out towards what it is that we desire? Can we release the expectations to hit the passions and fulfill our purposes? We all want to move towards it, but many times we have a lot of words we tell ourselves. We let an inner voice of habit control the external capacity to move towards it unbridled. We let the inner voice of history tell us we can't do it. We let the circumstances and the family background we come from cold constraints on us. We look at our environment to get authorization rather than look to our spirit to break through our environment. See, your habits, your history, your family background, and your environment is like gravity. And your passions and your expectations to chase your passions is like a rocket. And we have to barrel up to and through gravity to barrel through it until we get into a zone called the velocity of escape where we just take off and now we're in the jet stream of moving towards our desires, moving towards our purpose and fulfilling why we are here. That takes a release, that takes unbridled capacity, and that takes being able to handle the pressure and the intensity of our own expectation, the rocket so that we can move past gravity, because gravity says, we're going to hold you right where you are. And the propulsion says, I'm going to move up past the limitations of gravity, the weight of gravity, so that I can get up on that jet stream. So get up on the jet stream of your life. Get up on the jet stream of your emotions. 
get up on the jet stream of possibilities and options that are above the clouds. Because if you don't move above gravity, you'll never know what's above the clouds for you. You'll never know the opportunity. You'll never know the options. You'll never know the joy. You'll never know the capacity. You'll never get to see those things above the clouds that have your name on it waiting for you to come and peel that ticket and take advantage of that opportunity. We'd like you to call a friend or a family member and share with them the message you have heard. We'd like you to really begin a dialogue and ask yourselves, ask your friends, are you really letting the dogs out? Are you allowing your expectations to chase your passions? Are you recognizing your passions? Do you have the strength to measure your passions versus your inhibitions or your passions relative to your freedom? Have that kind of conversation. Have that kind of dialogue. Allow yourself to have that kind of openness. Move freely throughout the cabin of your spirit and begin to release the seatbelt and see what's going on there. There inside of the cabin of your spirit so that you can pull out your soul and say, wow, here's the black box. Here is the place where all of the things I really want to be, I really want to do, and I really want to have are located. Take a minute to revisit this. The beauty of this medium is it allows you to revisit it multiple times. Ask yourselves, how many times do I go back and listen to, review, evaluate, and assess what I've heard? How many times do I begin to take a pad, take a pen, take notes, and just begin to write down the things that this message has stimulated me